This is Credit Matters, and I'm Greg Moskowitz, the Global Fixed Income Research Group. The global tally of companies poised for downgrades dropped significantly in September, due in large part to the downgrades of China and Hong Kong, as well as the outlook revision to stable on Kazakhstan, which resulted in similar actions on related entities. A decline in potential downgrades is expected after downgrades materialize because negative outlooks or credit watch statuses are typically resolved following a downgrade. The number of potential bond downgrades fell to 579 as of September 25th from 596 as of August 28th, declining for the 10th month in a row. We removed 49 issuers, 19 of which are domiciled in China, Hong Kong, or Kazakhstan, and added 32 since our last report. Potential downgrades are issuers rated AAA through single B- by S&P Global Ratings, with either negative rating outlooks or ratings on credit watch with negative implications. We monitor potential downgrades because they are the most likely to be downgraded in the short to medium term, and their aggregate number indicates the direction of potential rating changes. Timely and ongoing surveillance of issuers at risk of being downgraded can be valuable to investors in their sector credit allocation process, as well as in hedging against potential capital losses arising from a downgrade. This has been Credit Matters. Thank you for watching.